up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road to Foot Champions RTG Edition. Big ups for the love and support in last year, last last night's episode or yesterday morning's episode. Yo, right now we're 17 and three. That was the first batch of 20 games. Now we're going for the second batch of 20 games. And since we're at 20, can we get 20,000 likes on this episode? That would be mental. Talking about mental, yo, I have to do something with David Alaba because right now my team is playing. Not mental. The opposite of mental. I don't like the way my team is playing. I love the way my attack is playing. Right here, we're up 1-0. And Booyah Nation, it's not very often that you see your boy give up three, four, five goals a game. We don't see that that much. But in this game, after being up 1-0, and especially being up 1-0, you got to close up, man. You got you to gotta play tighter football. Not only are we 17-3 and three because we lost a penalty shootout, then we got a, a force-off DC glitch. Uh, we took two bad L's. And I know a lot of people said, a lot of people in the comments, I was so surprised, so many of you guys said that so many of you guys took the, the disconnect glitch loss or whatever. And a lot of people like Skills don't complain about it. It's normal. But realistically, we should complain about it because it's not normal to get disconnected off of servers, man. So anyways, we take an L right here. So now after a penalty loss, a dumb glitch loss. Now we take an actual loss, and that's our fourth loss, and we only have 17 wins. That is not looking good for our chances at top 100. Last weekend, we got Elite One with a weaker defense. This weekend, we upgraded to David Alaba and to Jordy, uh, to David Alaba and to Boateng. And I told you guys I would give these two guys 40 games because I know these guys are great players. And I know I said I hated Team of the Year Suarez when I played with them. And I didn't really give him a chance. I gave him a chance this weekend on my main account and he helped me get 38 wins and two losses. So for Boateng and David Alaba, after seeing what I saw with Suarez, I said, let me legitimately give these two guys a chance before I say that I can't play with them. And I realized throughout these 40 games, I'm not good with David Alaba. We're down 3-0 again. Two games into this episode, we let our opponent score three goals in each game. Luckily, in the 80th minute, we're going to win a penalty with the boy Erickson, and Sun's going to step to the spot. We were down 3-0 in this game. If our attack wasn't this beautiful, if our attack wasn't so amazing, we would have lost so many more games this weekend. Beautiful over the top to Sun right before halftime in, the, in extra time. The boy Sun finds the back of the net, and that is a mega comeback. But this is the problem, Booyah Nation. Smalling, Boateng, Walker, David Alaba, they're supposed to be one of the best defenses in the game. But I can't be giving up three goals. You guys can't be giving up three goals a game. Because if you're giving up three goals in the foot champions, first of all, every goal is important. Every win is important. Every loss is important. Every, every, everything in foot champions is important because this mode is so stressful, man. So giving up three goals is just not acceptable, especially in two games back to back. That's six goals suffered, man. That's just too much to be given away. It's already too stressful. Your defense has to be in point if you want to do well in the foot champions. And that's I that's completely different than what I was doing this weekend. And that's the only reason why I say I can't play with David Alaba and Boateng. Because the proof is in the pudding. Now, I'm not saying we can't get... Well, it's going to be hard for us to get top 100. Because I believe this weekend you had to get 37 wins. And right now... Uh, there's no chance because we already have four losses, which means the only thing we could do is 36 wins right here. Little one-twos in between the boy Walcott and Conte. And yes, I sweated right there. And I know you're probably sitting there like, damn, Skills, that's a sweaty. Yo, I don't care if your girlfriend's sitting beside you. I don't care if your best friend's sitting beside you. I don't care if your mom and dad is sitting beside you. If they're going to make fun of you when you score a sweaty goal, you look back at them and you laugh and you say, but I got that win, though. Because what's important is getting wins, Booyah Nation. Score goals how you got to score them. I don't care if they're sweaties. I don't care cutbacks. Score goals the way you got to. I don't care if you cross the ball 90% of the times if that's how you're winning games do it because this mode is way too stressful to be putting yourself in a position where oh let me try to score a nice goal because that's what that that's what people consider a nice goal forget that try to get yourself a win try to get yourself as far up as possible so you can get yourself rewards my boy son here doing beautiful things against a fantastic team the boy had way at striker you guys know way is incredible he tries to play the offside trap right there on me and he makes a mistake i read this guy uh i played him before i know he likes the offside trap so 15 minutes of this game, I pretty much knew how to play him already. Although, once again, being up 2-0 was not enough. Because for the third time in this episode, we are going to allow three goals. 
David Alaba and Bo you guys seen my defense. You guys see the way I defend on my main account. You guys saw the way I defended last week on this account to get Elite One. I just don't understand how I can upgrade to two amazing players and not know how to play with them. Right here, he is shushing me with the boy Messi. In the 90th minute, right before we take an L, I get a lucky bounce back with Martial. I put a pass up top. He tried to get me with the offside trap. That's a mistake. Lukaku with a cross and Sterling climbs the ladder to the top floor of the building and puts it into the back of the net. He tries the offside trap again. Mistakes were made. David Alaba. I ain't mad because it's 4-3, but why is my left back scoring in, in, in extra time? I don't understand. Either way, we're going to get him to rage quit at 5-3. It was another mean comeback. But what I decide to do, Booyah Nation, after I'll tell you exactly when I do it, I changed David Alaba's position, and honestly, he's amazing where I put him. First of all, we are now 16 wins away from 36 wins, which possibly at this point could have kept us in the top 100. But more importantly, we can only lose two more games out of our next 16 to get Elite 1. Elite 1 is 34 wins. That's what we did last weekend. Now, Booyah Nation, look at this beautiful play from my opponent here. And once again, an empty man marking poorly, bad defending. He scored, made it 1-0. And I made a decision coming up real soon. Not yet. I don't do it yet, but I do it very soon where I take David Oliver and I start to play him at the CM position. I bring Luke Shaw into play left back in the 105th minute of extra, 102nd minute of extra time against this guy. We're going to pick up a W, 2-1. to one. Very late goal. Good goal, too, because that's win number 21. As long as we get into the elites, I'm happy at this point. Until I figure out the defense on this account, I don't see us getting top 100, especially with David Oliver and Boateng. Regardless... I change the team up a little bit. I go back to uh, Fernandinho. Fernandinho. Um, Fernandinho, Renato Sanchez, and Conte in my midfield. And when I go back to that, I end up taking out Fernandinho pretty much right when the game starts. I put David Alaba at left CM. Uh, Conte at the middle CM, if I'm in the 4-3-2-1. Conte, uh, Conte at CM, at middle CM. And then at right CM is the boy Renato Sanchez. And then I bring in Luke Shaw to play left back. This is just something I had to do to pick up wins because I couldn't play with David Alaba in the back. Right here, we get matched up against almost an entire legend team with an insane defense team of the year. Marcelo Fer Ferdinand Hummels, a great team, a beast team. And I bang one in from Erickson from outside the box. That's what he brings to the table. And the funny thing is, that's the winner. We get a rage quit off of that goal right there. And it's going to give us another victory and a massive victory against a great team. And that's going to get us closer to getting up into the elites. We get matched up against a beautiful 4-3-2-1. A great team. And I believe this guy is going to hand us another L. And after this game is when I decided that no longer could I keep David Alaba at the left back position. Look right there. And you can say, well, skills, you pulled David Alaba. I would have made that tackle with Luke Shaw. And for some reason, with Boateng and David Oliver, I just suck at tackling with them. I'm not saying they suck because I see pros playing with them. I, you guys in the comments tell me you guys are good with them. Right here, I don't know how I tucked I don't tuck it into the back of the net. I end up giving up a penalty right here with David Oliver. And again, it's not them. It's me with them. Some players fit you. Some players don't. Good shot to the left-hand corner, too. No, that is going to be another L for us as he's dabbing on us with the boy Hazard. But he's not done there, man. He's going to get one more on us. And he's going to come down the side that David Oliver plays on to make it 3-0. But please, Booyah Nation, know that I'm not bashing David Oliver or Boateng. I'm bashing me playing with them. It's just like when I tell you Son is amazing. Son is amazing for me, like in my opinion, he's good for me. It doesn't mean he's gonna be incredible for you. I know Boateng and David Alaba, the one of the one of the best. It, David, Boateng's supposed to be the left back, the best left back, the best center back in this game. Boateng's supposed to be, but for me, for some reason, it's not working out. Now that you see Sterling playing, it's because I've made the switch already. Sterling is starting from the beginning of the games because I changed my midfield around a little bit, and now David Alaba is playing left CM for us. That's right, left CM. Uh, he took them out that left back position. I wasn't feeling him there no more, and I want to see if I stop suffering goals so Boateng still playing center back for us it's just I would bring in actually that game I didn't even start doing it yet when do I start doing it I know I start doing it hella soon man getting close to 25 wins as we see another great uh, BPL team uh, BPL amazing team with a bunch of squad builder players and he also has the boy Suarez in that midfield with the new Deli Ellie man so as we kick this game off I send a beautiful pass to Erickson Erickson finds Sterling back inside I go back into Erickson and Erickson doing what Erickson does best scoring goals like an absolute 
absolute beast. I love Erickson. I love Son. I love Lukaku. I love the team we have. I'm just not content with my defense, and that's a big issue because defense is the most important thing. Good ball into the middle for Erickson to score another one. 2-0 Erickson doing his thing out here right now. Beautiful passing once again. Look at that, man. The ball movement's nice. I mean, you look at our attack and you're like, yo, your attack is beautiful right now. It looks flawless and it does look amazing. But defensively on this account, it's just not there for me. On my main account, Smalling and the boy Fernand were amazing for me. Boateng and Smalling for me here just not working out that well. We get matched up against the greatest. Once again, I played this guy a few games before where we beat him an extra time, 2-1. to one. So we had just beat this guy. I play him about four games later and this time he's gonna get the best of me so I'm not even mad at it because I, I, I had a hard time beating him the first game and the second game he's gonna pull one off of us so it's just the way it is I actually cut out the goal zone I forgot to show you guys my goal there I truly do apologize I believe Erickson scored again for us in this game off the corner he's gonna send one into the middle let's see if he gets it ball bouncing around and he is gonna get it 3-1 in this game but we're not done there we're gonna try to make a comeback here baby good passing around David Alaba Got the shot that bounced back to Walcott, who scores, but there's David Oliver doing David Oliver. He's going to bang in another one, and that is pretty much going to be the end of the game at 4-2. He's going to make one more, and this time he's going to walk away with a massive win, and I'm not going to get so lucky in this one, man. So a big loss right there, 5-2, I think, and 5-3, excuse me to the greatest his team name is. And now we're really struggling to try to get Elite 1 at this point. At this point, I'm like, yo, Elite 2 is solid. But it's kind of a, a sad feeling for me, man, because going from Elite 1 to the following weekend and going backwards, if we do go backwards, that's not what you want to see, man. You want to see progression. You want to see you getting better. And the fact that we bought upgrades and they didn't do well for us, it just sucks. It really sucks. Obviously, Sun was an upgrade at the striker position, but in the back, it just wasn't nice. Walcott and Sun doing what they do best. Sun is an absolute machine, a scoring machine. Now, someone tweeted me last night in the comments, and people like, Skills, man, you ran the price of Sun up by like 40K. What's up with that? And I truly don't mean to. I'm just telling you guys the players I play with and the players I enjoy to play with. If I talk about Sun in here, and I'm showing you he does well. His price might rise for a day or two just because a lot of people watching the video are going to want to try him. But just wait it out. Wait a couple days. His price will drop back down. I, I don't intentionally mean to do it. I'm just showing people what I'm doing with Sun, and it ends up raising the price a little bit. I never thought that my videos would actually fluctuate the market so I do apologize for that homies I don't mean to do it on purpose but right there is going to be us hitting gold one I believe we are three wins away from elite three now which we've hit elite three before we've hit elite two before we've hit elite one before the only thing we don't have is top 100 and unfortunately this weekend is not going to be top 100 for us nice passing right here a good shot and he's going to score once again and once again we're in trouble Booyah Nation man I know you guys I know you guys been watching this series and if you watch this series you guys know we don't suffer this many goals man it's just a struggle for me right now in the back and maybe it's just this weekend for me maybe I wasn't defending well but then I jumped on my main account and I was defending like a beast so I just really think David Oliver and Boateng they didn't work for me on my main account either man I tried them for about three weekend leagues on my main account and I just couldn't get them to work and I tried them so much because I wanted Renato Sanchez more than anything to fit on my team just because he's one of my favorite players in real life I loved him at Befica but it just doesn't work out sometimes man you gotta just give up on things and I tried Boateng and stuff again but I think it's time I give up on them forever now Booyah nation this is one thing i really want to show you guys that in the next game we pick up a massive win right here it's getting us that little step closer to hitting the elite which will kind of take some pressure off me but right here i want to start this off right after i score forget my goal because it doesn't matter i want you to watch how i control boateng here okay at this point i'm already playing david Allen, but the cm position you can see luke shaw with the red boots watch what i'm doing with boateng i'm controlling i'm controlling i'm controlling i'm controlling i switch off and i, I get a bite that's my fault that's not Boateng. I want you guys to know when you're watching this video that that's not why I'm saying Boateng and David Alaba doesn't work for me. I 100% got beat by my opponent there. He sold me. GG's. No re. That's my fault. Had I had Ferdinand, had I had any center back in the game, I would have got beat. I would have got beat there. I got completely outplayed. What I'm, what I don't like is that the distance in between left back David Alaba and center back Boateng. They leave a massive gap. And I pay attention more than anything. I tell people this all the time. Watch what your players are doing off the ball. For example, this man's Pugba. 
Pogba was a player on my main account that he's in every single one of my mega teams. And you're probably like, damn, Skills, is because he scored a lot of goals and he gets a lot of assists? No, the opposite. He doesn't score a lot of goals. He doesn't get a lot of assists. But when I'm not controlling him, the position he takes, what a goal from Son. The position he takes on the field, the passes he intercepts by himself when I'm not controlling him, the movements he makes off the ball, the movements he makes when my arrow's not above his head, that's what I'm watching. That's what I watch. And David Alaba, for me, has the worst position positioning as a left back. So even in this game right here with Luke Shaw now playing left back, we suffered one goal. In the last game, we suffered one goal. So now you're watching Luke Shaw in the back and every game we've only suffered one goal. Right here, we are gonna suffer another one. That's gonna be two, but at this point, we're up four two. So even if David Alaba was back there, I don't care about suffering goals at this point. My man Lu uh, Lukaku gets taken down the box in the 90th minute, a big time red card for Walker. And it's going to be an easy opportunity for my man's son to get another goal and add some more tallies to what is already his beautiful stats. And that's exactly what he does as he hits the side net. 5-2 victory. So in game one of David Alaba being left back, we suffered one. In game two of David Alaba being left back, we suffered two. And I think these are the games where he took left back and think he could have maybe a game or two before. Once again, we get matched up against another fantastic team. And a team like this, it's hard already for Luke Shaw. It's hard for David Alaba. Yes, Sterling has great players, so I understand it. Right here, David Alaba. Look at the play he makes. You see that? That's him being a left CM. He was at the striker position. He makes a beautiful play. I love him as a center mid. I do, man. Even my brother came over and he watched a couple of these gameplays as I was playing him. And he was like, yo, David Alaba is amazing at CM. He's great. He's everywhere you want him to be. He's in the box. He's intercepting balls. He has the speed to be a CM. He's a great CM. Look at him right there. That's him over in the middle of the pitch. Over the top to Lukaku. Look at him making a run into the box. And he stops. And he holds up. And he's chilling outside a box for any rebounds. He literally plays. It's like he's programmed to be a CM in this game it's crazy man we're gonna win that game four now and we are now gonna enter elite three which is good man whatever happens past this point at least we hit elite three and let's try to get our best possible here elite one's pretty much out the picture at this point already but let's try to at least get elite two he sends the ball out we're gonna win it no goal suffer game three of luke shaw being in the back a great goal from sun right there to make it one nil and that's what i'm saying man when no david alaba left back we just perform better are we still gonna lose games of course are we still gonna suffer for goals, of course, but it's just not as bad. Look at the hole that Boateng left. It's not Boateng's fault. It's not Boateng's fault. Every center back's going to push every now and again, so I ain't mad at that. Son with a great steal. Son with a great goal. Son doing his thing. Love this card, man. He's beautiful. Another goal right here, and once again, we've suffered two. So we haven't got to the three mark. In most games, we're suffering one or none, but in two of them, we suffer two. So that's all right, man. We're still doing okay. We're getting close to that elite two position. As we get matched up against Cavani, this guy was a fantastic player. This guy was a stud of a player. Well played, an absolute beast at FIFA. I saw his team. I was like, that's actually a team we might. Actually, I was like, that's a team we got. I literally thought we got this team, but yo, Cavani, Cavani doing Cavani type things like he did against uh, against uh, Barca this weekend or this week in the, in the Champions League. I guess he played pretty good. I didn't watch. I watched basically think of versus Dortmund but a great goal right there for the boy Cavani making it 1-1 so he suffered one right there nice over the top right here we got to put this one in I slow it up I'm holding it up and he takes me down in the box with the goalkeeper it's a penalty the goalie only receives a yellow if that was real life the goalie would have received the red unfortunately there's not red so the goalies in foot champions thank god because that could be pretty trolly the boy's son once again to pat his stats and he does it lovely we haven't seen the boy's son miss a penalty which is beautiful we're gonna win 2-1 right there and we're a step closer to elite two now with David Alaba playing CM. Thank you, David Alaba. We move into this next game where we see a great team, a fantastic team. Great center backs, great attack. Boy, Mares, Musa, fast team. We might struggle here. Again, for me, I felt like the team was more comfortable with Luke Shaw on the back. Uh, but, you know, it would be argued that a lot of people are like, damn, Skills, there's no way you can say Luke Shaw is better than David Alaba. He's better for me, in my opinion, man. Good goal for the boy son once again. This is why his price went up, man. I didn't do nothing. He did it by himself. Boateng gets beat right here. Smalling can't get, actually, Smalling got beat right there. Boateng couldn't recover on time, and it's 1-1. We go down the field with Sun once again. Can Sun do it? He does. His price rise because of his play, not because I hyped him up, man. He just He's hyping himself up. Good passing right here. I try to get there. You can't really defend a long shot. That's going to be his second goal of the game. Then I'm back in there with the boy Walcott, and he's going to make it 3-2. 
And that's going to be another victory for us. Well played to us. Actually, David Alaba for that game stayed in the back. He stayed in the back for that game. I just saw it. And that's going to reach Elite 2. Now, at this point, I actually stopped playing because I was going to play my main account. But then I jumped back on this account after I finished my main account. And I said, let me get the 33 wins. Let me hope to get the 33 wins because of the monthly rewards. Monthly rewards are pretty important. I got regionals next weekend as well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get games. And I'm really, like, struggling for time right now. Uh, so I want to make sure we get good monthly rewards. So I got jumped back on this account a few hours before the foot champions closed where we got matched up against a pretty good team and this game i know for sure i put david alaba at cm uh because my brother watched it and he was like this was the game where he was like oh my god he plays well there man some good ball movement right here messi's in the box messi on it and he scores and that was before i moved david alaba into the midfield but that still wasn't david alaba's ball but look at that look right after i move him to left cm He's amazing there. He's a great CM, an amazing CM, absolutely beautiful. Um, if I keep him, I'm playing him at the CM position. I'll bring in a different left back. He's going to score right here with a nice sweaty goal. You can't really prevent that. Two to one at this point. I'm on the ball with Lukaku, and Lukaku finds the back of the net beautifully in the 90th minute to send it into extra time. And I know this game doesn't matter because we can't go to Elite One. But at the same time, the monthly rewards do matter. Now, Booya Nation, as Sun scores the winner. Oh, just kidding. Lukaku scores the winner. Now can we speak? Now can we legitimately have a conversation? People asked me in my video, video yesterday, Skills, why were you so mad that you got that disconnect loss? It happens to all of us. We were winning that game three to one against the legend team. We were up three to one. It was 100% a victory. We had that locked. We were gonna win that game. We're one, one win away from Elite One. We're one victory away from Elite One. The difference is like 20 or or, or, or 20 or like 50,000 coins. Better players, better rewards, better monthly rewards. Had we done 34 again, 34 plus 34, you're looking at like, what is that, 68? Now you're looking at being at a top 100 for the month by like four games instead of like six games. Like, or instead of five games, or maybe three games. It just, it changes everything. And people were like, Skills, why are you so mad? Because of that. Because we missed out on Elite One. And I know you might be like, well, Skills, you should have played better in the other losses. Yeah, I know, but they shouldn't take wins away from us, neither. We got screwed out of Elite One. We got screwed out of better monthly rewards. We got screwed out of so many different things that it's so annoying and it makes me so upset. But it is what it is, and we all deal with it, isn't it? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Would you be mad? At this point, you see me playing around with my team. It's an all-BPL weekend league coming up, and I'm looking at this team right here on my screen. I'm like, this is looking kind of sexy. We might try Alonso. A lot of changes coming throughout the week. If you guys enjoyed the Road to Glory, smash a thumbs up. If you feel my pain, if you feel my pain, if you feel my pain of these disconnect losses, screwing us, smash that thumbs up. Let me know how you feel in the comments. You see me looking at Osbelli Cueto, the center back. Should we get him? Let me know. Thumbs it up. Subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all soon, Booyah Nation. I love you. Sorry I didn't get Elite One. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Another 40 games in front of us. Well, at the time, I didn't realize, but there was another 80 games in front of us. Welcome back to the Road to Foot Champions RTG Edition. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another one of my videos. And I do want to thank you for clicking on the video. So many people were tweeting me skills. Where's the Road to Glory, baby? It's been two days. I can't wait much longer. Well, here it is, man. No more waiting. No more having to. Smash a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this series. And that's what the team's looking like. Renato Sanchez, David Alaba, and Boateng. My man, Red Erickson. Smallin, the boy Walker, and then we got Conte, Martial, Walk. Wait, wait, Walk Walker's in the back. Walcott, there we go. Walcott's up top with Anthony Martial and the boy Son. And let's just say the Son investment was a great investment. I absolutely love this Son card, and I would recommend all of y'all picking him up, especially if you're having scoring issues. Cause Son, well, this man scores a lot of goals. He gets into a lot of great positions. He makes a lot of great runs, and he scores a lot of bangers. And the thing that actually impressed me the most as we're watching this gameplay about Son, look at that finesse shot on him. I knew he had a good, you know, regular 